Okay, she's doing a thing about rejecting guys, so I figured I'd react to this because a lot of her things I actually agree with. Yes. Sometimes we forget to do with guys because there can be a stigma around rejecting guys. Whether it's because you don't want to hurt their feelings because you know that guys get rejected way more than girls do. Whether it's because you've had a bad experience rejecting somebody in the past, which happens. So there seems to be this kind of awkwardness in where a lot of people, instead of choosing the road to be straightforward with a guy, they choose the road of kind of beating around the bush, being like, No, be straight. Don't be a bitch, but be straight. And when you say anything other than I'm just not interested, it often leaves a window or a door open in their minds in which they think that they do have a chance. And so when you're Yeah, guys are stupid. Yeah, say. I'm. I don't like you. Thank, th thanks for the compliment. Go away. And then, if they keep it up, then be rude. Then cut their balls off with your words. If they don't get the hint. Just don't make it a hint. Make it, I don't like you. Thank you. Yeah. Don't be a bitch, but be straight. Because I don't know if people notice this, but guys don't get hints. We're normally stupid. And if we think we have a shot, we'll ignore hints. But I'm not interested isn't a hint. It's okay. You're not interested. Or just do what a chick, what a chick I uh, know does with every guy. Tell us you're gay. We'll either think it's hard, but get the hint that you're not into it. Or just be like, oh, okay, so it's not me. It's just you're not sexually attracted to males. That's the least shot to our ego ever. Or, no, sorry, I'm into... I'm into bigger guys. Oh, so oh, sorry. I'm into blah blah blah. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm just got out of a bad breakup. But make the bad breakup seem horrible, so we know you're not gonna be ready for years. Or just be straight with us. Beating you on the bush and making us think we got a shot is kind of fucked up. Anyway, back to my girl. Yes. Because nine times out of ten, when we approach you, we're looking, f that's what we're looking for. That's what you guys know we're looking for. We're not looking for a relationship right off the bat. So if you say, yeah, I'm not attracted to you in any way. Sorry. Then we're like, okay, so even if I did carry on this conversation, you're not going to let me hit. Why would I carry on this conversation? Like, if you know we were sexually attracted to you, tell us that you that it's not reciprocated, and we'll stop trying because we know we're throwing, we're talking to a wall, and it's painful to fuck a wall. I've tried. Don't ask questions. I'm weird. Honest with you, one hundred percent. So when he said to me, 
I know it's not possible because I went so far. That showed me that in his mind, that time distance was the window. And I didn't want him to think in his mind that maybe if he closed that gap, maybe if he moved somewhere closer to me, that that is what would make it happen. And so to avoid his mind even going that way, I just simply said, look, I'm not sexually attracted to you, and it just wouldn't. The truth is, is that him, along with 95% of the men, just appreciated the fact that there was some honesty there, that there was no, let me read the door open, let me read the glimmer of hope here. We just yeah, we not good with a glimmer of hope. Because we get rejected so much that a glimmer of hope is all we need to go a full force. It's like a light at the end of a tunnel. No, that's what fucked I'm up. Is, is that you should be mindful because that is another human being with feelings. That's it. That is purely, purely it. So there you have it. If you're not sure how to let a guy down and how to reject a guy, that is how to do it. You say, listen, thank you, I appreciate it. So acknowledge. Now my own thoughts. Okay. So yeah, the first. Guy, guy walks up to you, the first thing you do is try to let him down as easy as possible, close that window, make sure he politely knows he doesn't have a chance. Then, if he keeps going, that's when you decide to be rude. The more, the ruder he is, the ruder you can be. So, if after you say, I'm not attracted to you, this isn't going anywhere, anywhere he keeps pushing, then you go. You're, no, you're uh, too ugly. He keeps going. You're a limp dick piece of shit. You see how it gradually gets more and more fuck off? And if he lays a finger on you, you stick hit your knee in, in his balls as hard as you can. If a guy touches you without your consent... You go for the most weak, you go for the most vulnerable part on his body. That won't kill him. Hit, getting canned knocks us to the ground, knocks up the air out of us, makes us useless for the next couple.